First things first, this lesson only applies to the math test with a calculator section of the SAT. When used wisely, your scientific calculator can be your best friend on the SAT. This trusty tool will save you time and energy, even with mental math, but key in the wrong number and even your bestie can turn into your biggest frenemy. In this lesson, we're going to go over ways to keep that calculator working for you and out of your SAT burn book. So let's say that you're trying to find three squared plus four squared. Easy, right? At first glance, it might seem like nine plus eight equals 17 is the obvious choice. But wait, see right there? Saying that four squared is equal to eight is exactly the sort of mistake you can avoid by outsourcing your brain power to a calculator. By using a calculator, we can quickly add three squared, which is nine, plus four squared, 16, for an answer of 25. But that's not all it can do. On top of helping you avoid common errors, your calculator helps you save mental effort. You only have so much mental stamina, so save some for those really hard problems or for figuring out what you're going to eat after the test. Even if you use your calculator for every question, things can still go wrong. Let's look at some common mistakes, starting with fractions. Let's say that you have this problem. Four times four plus eight, all over, 12 times two. One way to avoid really common errors is to put the numerator and denominator of your fractions into the calculator separately. In the case of our example, that would look like this. So the top answer is 24. Next, we'd plug in the bottom, 12 times two. This is also 24. We'll put 24 on the bottom and end up with one which is the correct answer. But what about order of operations? Don't worry, if you figure out the top and the bottom of each fraction separately, you're fine. Plus, your calculator always follows the order of operations, so it takes care of the thinking for you. Another way around the problem we just talked about is to put the numerator and denominator in two parentheses. By grouping the top and the bottom, we make sure that they're done at the same time. One more common mistake with calculators is the dreaded negative sign. Make sure that whenever you have a negative outside of parentheses, like in this problem, that you keep the parentheses exactly where they are when you enter them into your calculator. Your calculator will take care of the heavy lifting of distributing the negative so that you can carry on with your test in relative peace. These are the basic things to remember when using your calculator. Sometimes even our best friends fail us, but if you remember these tips, you can help keep your relationship with your calculator intact.